So I'm gonna show you how to set up the CCAP addresser and tabber. We're only gonna be doing addressing on this job. I just finished doing 20,000 postcards over here and we're gonna mail that out. I'm gonna show you how we set that up. Now, the first thing is that we have to get a mailing list that has been processed and gone through the mailing system. We do that over on the mailing computer over there. We get it all together and then we print out our mailing and information form, which is right here. And with that mailing information form, the uh, second page has all of our data here. So what we do is we take a look and we make sure that we understand where it's gonna be mailing to, that with the, I mean the in permit indicia. And then we also wanna make sure to read any additional notes down here so we know what we're doing. And the quantity, we're gonna be mailing about 19,200 on this one. So you wanna make sure you got the quantity, the indicia, and the additional notes. On the second page over here on the right, it's gonna give you the number of containers that you have to have. The one mm trays are the small trays. The two mm trays are the big trays. So we come over here. We got small trays. We got big trays. So that's the key pieces of information you need to know over here. Then we come over to the computer and the computer, we're gonna click into the mailing section here. Let me just close all this out and I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. Okay, so you come over here to the computer, you're going to double click on this shortcut to SP Win32. This is for the uh, CCAP software. Click OK. File not in use, just click OK. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna open and you're gonna go to 2015 Most Efficient gonna click open this is your print template and it's gonna tell you I can't find your your text file that we were using that's okay just click okay the second thing set up file right here set up file it's going to ask you to set up the file but you don't have anything right so you click new file and this is where you import your spreadsheet so you're gonna pull that, we put them on the desktop. We, we take it from a jump drive on that computer there and we put the jump drive in down here just to copy that text file over. Um, I don't believe this computer is connected to the internet. I'll have to double check that. So we come over here and we select the file. The file that we're working on has, starts with the invoice number and then the job name. So you're gonna make sure you copy this one. In this case, it's 75010. We come over to our job jacket, 75010. We come over to our mailing information paperwork, 75010. All three of those numbers should match. We're gonna take that, we're gonna open it. It's going to give you this long list of everything that you wanna match up. The first one is full name. So we come down here, find full name and we double click it. And it, when you double click it, when you have it highlighted, single click to highlight, here's the delivery address. So we're gonna go address one. There we go. And we double click. City, state, zip, oops. Zip, zip. Now, intelligent mark, Intelligent is I-N-I-T. That's the intelligent mar mail barcode. Your endorsement line, you'll have a field over here that says endorse, right there. The pack is going to be your bundle. And your sack is going to be the tray. Sequence number one is going to be miscellaneous one. Sequence uh, line 11, which is your VIS, that's your miscellaneous two. So just to recap all these, full name, full name. Address one is your delivery address. City, state, zip, makes sense. In it is your intelligent mail barcode. Endorse is your optional endorsement line. 
bundle is a pack, and a tray is a sack. Miscellaneous one is your sequence number, miscellaneous two is your VIS. And then you come down here, you click OK. You're out to this field. We're going to click Edit Layout right up here up top. We're gonna to edit the layout. This gives you the visual layout of what it's gonna print as. You might have to move these around to make sure that it can everything lines up the way you want. Now, roughly speaking, it's hard to see, but they have these thicker lines. This first bench, um, it, this section, this red section is separated into three sections. Section one, section two, section three. Those correspond down here with printhead one, printhead two, printhead three. So that's wherever it, it lays up on those little sections there, that's how it's gonna lay down on your, on your printhead. If you need to change anything on these, you right click it and it pulls it up to this line. You can actually change what a, any of these things. So if you don't wanna put in last name, first name, and you wanna say current resident, just delete it and type in current resident and it works out just fine. If you wanna change the text type, you can change the font and the font type are right here with font. So you can make all those changes. So if you need to make it a little bigger or a little smaller. So that's how you change all those things and put the information on a different line. Once you've done that, click this arrow here to go to the next record because you wanna actually look to make sure it all looks pretty good and it looks like what you want it to look like. Once you've done all that and you've gone through and it looks proper, you're gonna come over here and click print. The first time you will purge the print heads and you print a test print. Then the second time, as long as everything prints fine and looks okay on the, on the piece that you print out, you're gonna come here and do a range. Now here, 19,202 pieces. You actually, you're gonna print it in reverse order. So you're gonna go 19,202 to one, and then you're gonna click proceed. You have selected these to print. Do you wanna proceed? Yes. Now what's gonna happen is it's processing this print file. It says printing in progress, but it's just processing it. You have to let it process every single one of these. Each one is like a page of paper and it's processing every single one. And you can see it's going pretty quick, but it's gonna take a few minutes for this to process. Once that's processed, it'll pop up a window that says, okay. And all you have to do is come down here, make sure that your printing is online. Turn on the belt to the tabber. Most things, so you're gonna have that, that'll be turned on. Uh, hit start here to so turn that one on. I'm not gonna leave it on right now, but turn on your tabber belt first and then come over here, turn on your run and turn on your feeder. Now, before I set up any of this barcode stuff on the computer, I always make sure to set up my paper feeder to make sure my pieces are feeding through because you're gonna have to adjust all, all of these. You're gonna have to adjust the height you're gonna to have to adjust how your paper sits in here. You're gonna to have to adjust how it flows through and make sure that it that it actually comes through properly, that the paper is coming through and, and your print head is at the right height and the right location. I'm gonna do all of this first before I do the computer. Don't forget to have your dryer on so that you can, uh, your pieces will dry and the ink will dry properly. And that's it, that's how you set up the CCAP addresser to properly address a job.